The right of refugees to return to their country of origin voluntarily, in safety and in dignity, is the only durable solution embedded within the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It has long been regarded by the international community as the preferred durable solution for refugees. This assumption has come under scrutiny more recently, as the rate of refugee returns has declined sharply over the last decades due to prolonged conflicts and the dilemmas of post-conflict transition. Under these conditions, the classic modalities for assisting voluntary repatriation through promoted large-scale returns has diminished significantly as countries of origin remain in a protracted crisis situation with limited opportunities for reintegration. In these situations, the facilitation of voluntary repatriation often fails to address the needs of a large number of returnees, who as a result choose to return spontaneously by their own means. In 2021, UNHCR commissioned an evaluation to shed light on these challenges and help us rethink how we support voluntary repatriation and reintegration of refugees. This is what we found. While there are clear examples of success in UNHCR's support to self-organized returns, this modality entails a number of contextual and operational challenges that make a coherent response difficult. UNHCR's effectiveness in coordinating repatriation operations is widely recognized. However, providing long-term reintegration support presents more significant challenges, which the Refugee Agency has been slow to address. While the onus for reintegration outcomes lies with development actors, there is room for UNHCR to use its resources and convening power to greater effect by dedicating more resources to research, by sharing program data more openly and proactively, and by repackaging reintegration programming so that the efficiencies gained might make it more attractive to donors. In light of this, the evaluation recommends the following. Place more emphasis on contextual realities, returnee needs, and the principles of voluntariness, safety and dignity, in program design and implementation. Update existing guidance materials, including Handbook on Voluntary Repatriation, 1996, and Handbook for Repatriation and Reintegration Activities, 2004, to reflect on the priorities outlined in the Global Compact on Refugees and UNHCR Strategic Directions, 2022 to 2026. Improve clarity on how UNHCR and its development partners understand and implement the concept of durable solutions at the operational level, particularly in shared leadership and joint coordination of relevant programs. Broader and more integrated multi-partner platforms should be encouraged at the national and regional level. Budgets and funding instruments should be designed to support reintegration interventions spanning mixed caseloads of returned refugees, returned IDPs and local communities. By improving the way we work, we can offer a new beginning and an opportunity to rebuild for millions who desire to go back home.